Wauki technique, once I've done this, I'm using what's called the blood pool hand, where the, the fingers bend. And you're coming into this position before the Wauke. Out of the top to here, I could use that to offset right against the back of the arm on a point called triple warmer number 12. This is a striking point, okay? We have another point we'll use later in the, um, the Tuite version, but right now, this, just hitting this point will weaken the whole body and the leg structure. techniques that get a little bit more exposed because you have a dense section of muscle here, bicep forms a little bit of a dense muscle structure here, but in the separation is where we can get to the nerves. So just a strike can weaken out the whole body and take out the arm control. Because as he comes in, boom, and you hit, you can see you can weaken him right away with this to get him into another position, but he that movement here and you just close them down now you can go into whatever you need to do okay so you don't have to I'm going to leave you with one last arm attack again they're infinite it's all up to your brain and uh, what you're uh, able to conjure this technique here just doing the, the blocking type of an idea. If I use my blood pool hand instead of just an open hand this way, I'm going to use these set of knuckles. As a straight punch comes in, I'm going to be parrying the hand just so I don't get clocked in the face. At that point, I'm going to cross right into here. So this weakens up the hand and takes, I'm sorry, the, um, it makes it numb, weakens up Now, there's an accessibility to that nerve on the front. It's called stomach 9 for you pressure point guys. It's called large intestine 18 on the outside, okay, and on the back it's gallbladder 20. So if he's straight at me and I attack this way, I'm most likely going to catch that frontal aspect or the stomach 9 area. Could you come in with that attack right in through there? As he comes in, you have yourself um, a dramatic effect on the body, as you can see. You okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, is going to be striking at a nerve that comes along the base of the jaw. It's a part of a branch of the facial nerve and a part of the buccal branch. Okay? So as it comes in on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to parry, and this, this hand is going to be just coming across. So again, the action is this way because my hand comes across and my hand lays down on the attack right in through there. And as it comes in with this punch here, okay, we can just drop the over. So as the person came in with a reach, maybe I've turned his head, I grab and I advance with that. I'm going to do it a little bit quicker and I, 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 you might not be able to see where I target. I don't know um, as you go, but he comes in, boom, I turn, boom. And you've got the same type of an action. Now again, Another part of the form uh, where your hands reach out and they curl into fists. They come right out. Okay, this in itself um, is a very powerful technique. For example, if um, John Luca came in again with a hook punch, what I could do is I could use one fist as a grabbing action as another fist comes into that frontal aspect on what's called the stomach nine or another nerve structure with that. So again, from a, a hooking type of an action, as he comes in, boom. Another uh, look at weapons again. We're going to focus more on what's called the iron bone hand. 
Uh, now, in uh, Weichiru in particular, they use the thumb, the tip of the thumb a lot. I don't prefer to use that because I don't condition my hands that way, and it's dangerous that I could damage the thumb. If I hit into a hard surface, it's a damage, uh, I could rip the ligaments or dislocate the joint or even break the thumb. So what I like to use is the way the ancient boobies straight strike, just coming right up underneath the cheekbone can cause quite a bit of a shock. So again, if he comes in, okay, boom, now just boom. Okay, you see that the way the body vibrated with that, and that is more of a neurologic. physical dysfunction. And again, using this posture, if he came in with a straight strike, and you, get this way, you take the, the starch right out of the sails, it's too steep. Okay, now, since I hit the liver, and also the breathing, send a shock into the, the brain, there's not enough energy coming down to the leg to support those muscles anymore because now there's a sharp shock being monitored by the brain and that's why that leg, sorry about that, kicks out. It can also affect the breathing just a little bit because the diaphragm again connects across the whole base of the rib right in that structure. So by doing that I attack and spasm the diaphragm.